Hi everybody, my name is Scott Walls. For over 25 years, I've deployed ERP applications for some of the world's largest organizations. During that time, I've taught thousands of people just like you how to discover, use, deploy, and support Oracle's back office applications. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to turn on or enable offerings and applications within Oracle Cloud. Please note that this lesson is part of the Getting Started course found under the Oracle Cloud area of the Discover menus. But before we get started, did you know that you could earn free discovery badges for display on your LinkedIn profile just by watching videos like this one? You can. Stay until the end of this video and I'll show you how. Okay, so let's get started. Key topics for this lesson are as follows. Open the navigation bar, go to My Enterprise, access Offerings, select the offering to be enabled, enabling the offering, viewing features, view feature enablement status, enabling features, access setup and maintenance, and finally ensure offering slash features are or have been enabled. Okay, so step one, go to the nav bar in the upper left-hand corner of Oracle Cloud. By the way, you will want to be a consultant or have the consultant role in order to be able to do what we're about to do. Second, go to My Enterprise, like you see here on the left. Third, underneath or once you've opened My Enterprise or the My Enterprise menu, select Offerings. Next, it will bring up a listing of all the offerings. In this particular page shot, these offerings have been enabled. Yours will look slightly different, but you'll select procurement or whatever offering you want to enable. The status will be not enabled and you'll have a button there to click to enable this particular offering so you can enable the offering. Then once you've enabled the offering, you want to take a look at the features in that offering. You can do so by clicking new features. After you've reviewed the features, you'll want to view the feature enablement status. So now that we know the features, we want to see what's been enabled. To do that, you'll click the opt-in. If I go back one here, the opt-in features. Underneath that, you'll select the actual feature where the pencil is. Then you can look at the detailed features and enable or disable them. Now, once we've done the enablement, we want to check and make sure it's worked. So we'll go back to the navigator menu. We'll open the section entitled Others and select Setup and Maintenance. Once you're in the Setup and Maintenance page, in the upper left, you can click the down arrow, in this case by Compensation Management, but those where it says Setup colon, those are all the enabled offerings that you could then go and configure. So you can see here that we can see the procurement offering so we know that it's been enabled. So that's the end of this presentation, but it doesn't have to be the end of your learning journey. There are thousands of free videos just like this one. Remember, better content, better skills, better income, better life. We want to help you get 1% better every day. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Okay. As promised, here are the five steps you can perform today to start earning free badges for your LinkedIn profile. Step one, navigate to panamir.com and either sign in or join now. It's free. Step two, in the upper left, under the Discover menu, select the course that you want to watch and get badged for. Step three, watch all of the different video lessons in that course. Step four, when it's complete, send your LinkedIn profile and the course you watched and your user ID to badges at panamir.com. And then sit back and wait for step five when we attach a badge to your LinkedIn profile.